So this one says um, a chemist prepares a co copper etching solution um, by diluting concentrated nitric acid, which is HNO3. Okay, so two a uh, concentration of 0 0.0063 mole. And it wants us to calculate the hydronium ion concentration, the pH, the hydroxide ion concentration, and the pOH, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we have to uh, remember is that nitric acid is a strong acid. If you don't remember that, it's gonna be very difficult to do this problem, okay? So, um, I'm going to write down a chemical equation that helps me out. Okay, so this is um, H plus is the same thing as H3O plus. Okay, H plus is the same thing as hydronium. So this thing is going to be equivalent to whatever concentration is there. Is everybody okay with that? Does everybody understand? Yeah. So the concentration of this thing here is 0 0.0063 mole, right? So we've got, let's figure out what is the concentration of H plus, which is gonna be the concentration of H3O plus, which equals um, 0 0.0063 moles of nitric acid, so per liter of solution, right? Okay. And then we have a one-to-one -one ratio there. Is everybody okay with that? So, we've got one mole nitric acid for every one mole H plus, and remember H3O plus comes from that. So, what we can do, cancel, cancel, and we should get 0 0.0063 uh, molar H plus. Is everybody okay with doing that? Remember, you get that conversion factor from that chemical equation. So now we should be able to write down, well, what's the concentration of H3O plus, right? It's the same thing as H plus, so let's write it down. 0.0063 molar. Okay, everybody okay with that? Wonderful. Let's do the pH now. pH equals what? Negative log of the what? Yeah, the concentration of hydronium. So we have the concentration of hydronium. So we're going to put 3 here, 2.02 .02 is the pH. Remember, unit list. Okay. Is everybody okay to this point? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So 2.20. So you can do this next part one of two ways. You can subtract it from 14, or you can go back so this concentration, we use KW. Okay, I'm going to do that second one because it's a little, uh, I don't know, hard for us. Okay. So can I erase this kind of part down here? Everybody's got that face. Okay, wonderful. So do you guys remember what the KW expression was? KW equals yeah. So we're looking for the hydroxide concentration, so OH minus equals um, KW divided by H3O plus concentration, which we got up here. So remember KW is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. Uh, 
um, 6.3 times 10 to the negative third, which is right. <coughs> Just like I expected, a very small number, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 12 molar. Okay, so hopefully everybody got that. So, are there any questions on how to do that portion? Remember units here, so don't go with the units that you would have gotten. Okay, that's why I didn't put the molar down here. I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay, so POH, well, how do we do that? Negative log of the OH concentration. have the OH concentration? Yes. So we can just do that. Again, I'm not putting those units in there, so I won't confuse myself. So I have that answer here, so we'll just do negative one. So, and I get 11.8. So you should be able to do all of these with a strong acid or strong base for that matter, okay, by using this technique. So practice these guys, practice on the other, the other ones they give you there.